right, hello out there to all of my viewers. Uh, Jabbar Brown here. Um, today's lesson will be by Donnie McClurkin, and this is the Jesus medley um, from the albums, uh, Psalms, Hymns, and Spiritual Songs. Uh, we'll be in the key of F, and um, we're going to go straight in, and, and I'm going to uh, try to break down some of these movements and come from um, a couple of angles. Um, a lot of times when we play traditional songs, churchy songs, um, <clears throat> some musicians play with uh, a certain level of accuracy while others just kind of, um, I guess you could say, have fun and um, make a lot of mistakes along the way <laughs> um, and try not to put too much emphasis on um, the structures because it's, it, you know, a lot of um, all right, a lot of uh, mistakes here and there. Um, you know, so I might hit a few, a few chords um, wrong here and there. What I want to do is try to touch on um, putting emphasis on the chords um, for, for the sake of accuracy and then make a few mistakes here and there to kind of show you the difference. Um, everybody's, everybody's different, of course. Um, some people kind of like myself, um, at times I put, I try to make sure that I'm intentional when I play. Um, and at other times I just, you know, just let it go and um, kind of loosen up just a tad bit. All right, so we'll, we'll probably touch in some of that um, along the way. Uh, right now I'm using the hybrid grand piano on the Roland RD 700 SX and as usual I made a track to um, work with and help us out. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is just um, I'm just going to play without the track. We're going to start out here um, with the first part of part of the medley. Okay. So I'm going to start out there. I'm going to play through a little bit of the beginning without the track, and then we'll come back in and try to break down some stuff, all right? Jesus. So let's start with the first, uh, the first part of the medley. As you can see there, what I did was a lot of, uh, I guess we could consider bouncing around, okay? Um, <clears throat> which is um, a part of getting loose, if you will, all right? And I'll explain later. So we'll, we'll get into some of the technical stuff a little bit later, not too deep, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy or, or theoretical, just, um, just um, basic practical things. All right. So All right. So for starters, we have um going to walk up from A, B flat, B, C, D flat. All right. And then walk down from D. D flat, C, 
so that should sound something like excuse me all right to um, once we get down to our B C D A flat But you'll notice I also, I kind of, okay, all right, I kind of played around with that. I didn't hit all of the notes simultaneously once I got up to C and D flat. I kind of played around with that. All right, so, you know, it's personal preference. Um, I just hit one note first. Hit the lower octave C and then higher octave like that. So it kind of gives the um, effect of I'm hitting I'm hitting multiple keys at the same time, which I am, um, but it, it fills the pocket just a tad bit more. All right, so all right. After that, we walk up from A. a bass the right hand e flat a flat c and we can put the e flat on the top now this movement here can be used um throughout the song um bless that wonderful name of jesus they still do the same thing at the end Is that one? okay so we could still do the same thing there um and and actually throughout the entire song if you choose to Okay, but <clears throat> um, that's pretty consistent. So once we get out of that, I love, okay, so we're going to give a lot of chords here, and then maybe we can give some, some fillers to kind of help out a little bit. Okay, um, so what I'm doing here is I play the bass line is um, primarily F here. Okay, um, chord wise, provided you have a bass player, I have E flat, G, A, and E at the top. Okay, the right hand I have F, A, C, and F. And what I like to do is um, 